Hey guys, today I'm going to be discussing a painting called Luncheon of the Boating Party by Pierre-Auguste Renoir. He painted this in 1881 and it is 51 inches by 68 inches and it is oil on canvas. It is currently located in the Phillips Collection in Washington, D.C. He depicted this painting of a group having lunch at one of his favorite places located right outside of Paris. It is called Maison Flores. Sorry for the pronunciation. Um, but it was a common place for people to want to escape the hustle and bustle of the busy Paris atmosphere to get a nice meal, either rent a boat or stay at the hotel located attached to the restaurant. Um, Renoir was not personally a huge food junkie, but he knew that food brought people together, which is why many of his paintings included a meal, such as this piece, as you can see, the bread and wine and grapes located on the table. Um, it took Renoir several weeks to complete just because he could not get all of his friends to get together at one time. So we actually had to have each person model separately and paint them in. So it took many revisions and lots of time to actually perfect it, which became extremely expensive for him and extremely time consuming as well. Um, if you look to the bottom left of the painting, you can see a young lady in a red floral hat and she is actually rather important to Renoir because he liked her while he was painting this. And so his way of flirting with her was to make her the focal point of the piece, which is why, as you can see, she's the only one that has the red floral hat, as well as the red trimming on her dress. Everyone else has either white or blue clothing with yellow hats or maybe blue hats on. So she stands out from the rest just by her clothing, as well as she is the only one that is not talking to someone or looking at someone else. She's actually looking at a dog. So some people actually say that she is antisocial because of this, and he wasn't flirting with her, and none of that story happened. But I choose to believe that he was flirting with her because they actually did get married after this painting was published. This painting was so unique for the time just because everyone was conversating and was communicating with each other, whereas most other paintings made during this time that were depicting a meal time, they were perfectly lined up and everyone was in their specific spot, not talking to one another, whereas this one's a chaotic scene that depicted a real life situation. Renoir made history for this piece of painting because it is one of the most well-known Impressionism paintings for its time. I think that is all I have for you guys, so thanks for listening. Bye.